Morning, everyone out here at Timberlane uh, Golf and Recreation today, uh, doing a re-review on the Top Tracer range. Was at Bayou Oaks last week. Somehow I accidentally deleted all the footage, so I decided to come to Timberlane, see what's different. So far, everything over here is different. Let's see, you know, you just look down the, the row here. Picnic tables, everything. There's a lot more room here. You have plenty of space, right-handed, left-handed. Um, you know, if you have a few friends with you, you could all kind of sit here at the table. But uh, anyway, before you come here, I do recommend downloading the Top Tracer Range app. Let's see if I can find it. Um, so this app is going to track all your practice sessions. Let's see. Um, all right, so it, it's going to come up. You're going to get a, a little screen. Um, now, if you wanted to practice, you know, look at your stats, you know, have all your practice, different clubs, totals. Um, there's also all the, the games you've played, like close to the pin. I tried that. I'll show you a little bit of that today. But it's, it's really great. But you uh, do need this if you want to track all your things. Basically, what you're going to do is it has a play now. It's going to know your location. You're going to hit start on here. Uh, let's see, add a player. It's going to come up with a QR code. Done. Player's added. Done. And then from there, you're basically going to select your screen, uh, what games you want to play, whether you, you know, it's a warm up, Angry Birds, My Practice, Virtual Golf. Here, let's show you all those. Let's see, you have Angry Birds. Closest to the pin challenges, top tracer, top tracer 12, driving challenge, points game, go fish. And there's a way that you can challenge friends. You can go to just the practice games or games that you can play. Uh, I'm gonna start with the warm up. Go ahead and hit start here. It should give me all my targets. Uh, it takes a minute to load up. There we go. So this tells me all the targets that are out here. They're all labeled um, with different colors. I don't know how well you'd be able to see that out there. Different things, but uh, yeah, that's how you can warm up. Obviously, I'm gonna stretch with my Golf Forever training aid first. So, but uh, let me get warmed up and I'll show you how some of this works. All right, so I'm all uh, warmed up. I've noticed uh, this, the yardages on this one over here, Timberline is actually uh, closer to actual yardages than um, by you Oaks. This is only about five to seven yards off, whereas the one by Yokes is some way 15. Uh, that means uh, you know, the wind effect, anything like that. But uh, we're going to go to a practice session. So we're going to go to my practice. We're going to start. And you can select your aim, which I'm going to aim towards this target. Now, the green target, 171. I'm going to save. And again, these are all color coded out here by Yokes. They didn't have their targets color coded. So then I'm gonna grab my six iron, which is normally my 180 club. But we'll see uh, what the yardage does. And again, I have plenty of room here. Have the camera, everything set up. Nothing's in the way. wasn't struck well at all. And yet, uh, Tim Way actually has these uh, true turf mats. So they're not like concrete, more like real grass. Ooh, two horrible ones in a row. See if I can actually hit a good one. Well, it was better struck, just pulled.
Again, I haven't hit one of these great yet. Um, I think the ball has a lot to do with the uh, yardages. You know, all these practice balls fly a little shorter than a premium tour ball that I normally play. That's the best one. Still didn't go anywhere though. So that's about, oh, oops, I forgot to change club. And irons. Okay, it's a little, a little different, but uh, still that carries a little off. blown in my face. I don't know if this uh, takes that into account or not. So we'll what is weird is some of these are carrying past the target of 170 and they're showing less. Some are landing shorter and showing further. That was fat. switch clubs guess you're just gonna go to a straight three wood no we'll go to we'll go to a driver and just see what happens now again timberlane with these mats it actually allows you to uh use your own ball and tee or well, use your own tee as you can stick right in the mat, which is uh, really good. Uh, th these are so much; these mats are so much better than the ones that buy you oaks. But uh, let's see what kind of results we get with a driver and see if the yards is off. Now, my normal driver carry on a good day is 255. So let's see. That's only about 220. Just yeah. swing is way off today. Of course, they go to the doctor not too long ago. He thinks I screwed up my shoulder while hitting off of the mats at Bayou Oaks. So there's that. Not the best day to be reviewing something when you can't swing, girl. Oh. Let's try and get one good one and I'll show you some of the games. Well, just one more driver regardless. All right, on the range, that one flew about 247, 248. Given what a tree is, and it said only 232. You know, noticing with all these top traces, the longer the club, the more off it is. Top trace ranges I've used in Florida that have premium balls again are closer, much closer to the actual yardage, and you're actually hitting off a of real grass on some of those places. Still a good way to practice, have some fun, and make your practice worthwhile. So uh, again, I'm gonna go to the main menu. Oops, one. Exit this. Go to the main menu, 
and show y'all the closest to the pin. Yeah, you actually get to choose, so you know, when you when you come to the menu, you go the closest to the pin, you got all these holes to choose from, all these different spots. Uh, Royal Troons, Old Course, it tells you Yards, Kiowa, Spanish Bay, St. Andrews, Old Course. Uh, let's let's try that. I've done that one before. And this also has, you know, this week here at Timberlane, people that have tried this, but let's go ahead and start it. Um, again, I'm going to aim at the green target. Save it. Again, Bayou Oaks didn't have any kind of real way to aim. And I noticed over there, though, when I did the closest to the pin, it was actually more accurate on the overall yardage than the warm-up. So let's see if that's the case here again. So um, playing 167 yards, two feet downhill. I'm going to hit a six iron again because everything's coming up 10 yards short. Let's just see. I should actually be able to swing this kind of easy. That was actually a really good swing. That should be long. It was. So 176. So I'm going to hit the 7 iron now. See if I can get closer. Again, actually out on the golf course though. Like the 7 iron is my 170 carry club. So again, it should just be a nice smooth swing. And uh. Given how that is out here, that should be high, short, and right. Oh, but it wasn't short. It was right, though. That one's pretty good. short and left and that carried out past the 170 marker out here ten yards right of target landed five yards short out here and it's almost pin high on that one one more and we'll conclude this well that's horrible <laughs> nowhere near it that'd be a fun up and down on that golf course all right let's get one more good swing in here So it should be 10 yards left, five yards short. Nope, see the, the carry out here in real life is different than what it's showing, both short and longer. Kind of weird. So you could actually look at a replay of the shot if you wanted to. No? Take that on a golf course any day, 16 feet 7 inches. Right, so, so far, I do have to share this with y'all as well. Played this points game, it's actually pretty cool. It's limited amount of shots, as many points you can get. Every target has a certain point thing. But uh, let's show y'all how many it is. I think it was uh, 15, 20 shots. So, let's play again. You can see, got all these targets 2, 2x if I hit certain spots. Tells me all the yards you see, you see these flags. Obviously, the more you you go further out, the more points. 
but right now I'm just going to aim for this 2x anything in the, in the green circle. That's a little too far, so I got 20 points for that. And then the 2x goes away because I didn't hit it. This time I'm going to go at this uh, 104 yard target. So another 20 points. See, that scores 40. So again, now it's got the 3x points up there. Honestly, I don't know. That might just be 3x on anything I hit. So, figure out what an 80 yard target is. I oh, would try the 104 one again. Just hit it a little harder. Oh, that's high and right. So, 30. So it didn't give me a three, three times the points. Uh, you can change the camera, different views. So, but now we're gonna go at the, what is this camera? The 120 yard one, which is, Eighty, one hundred four, ninety-three. All right, so that's the big bullseye out there. Oop, that's a big miss. That wasn't the one I was going at. Still got twenty points though. Try it again. 120. So 40 points. Might as well go at that one again. Pulled it. I think I still have a little more to learn about this game. But there's 150. It'll have all my stats in the app. Uh, again, um, great way to, to have fun with this. So I'm going to quit. No, but uh, again, I'm going to check out the Angry Birds, check out a few other things, driving challenge, and let y'all know what it's like. I'm going to go ahead and play a uh, full round at, well, front nine at St. Andrews on this. You can play virtual golf and see how that's like. But I really just kind of want to reiterate, if you're going to come do top trace, I do recommend coming to Timberlane. Two main reasons. One, you have so much extra space. And then the mats, they're so much better on your body than the hard concrete mats over at Bayou Oaks and this system so i guess three reasons really and this system seems to be more accurate with your yardage and everything now the balls are slightly different these are Taito's practice balls by yokes as pinnacle but uh so far i'm more impressed with the setup and everything over here at timberlane so definitely check it out download the top tracer app and i'll come back with some more information about everything as i learn more about it and i use this system a lot more There you have it with Top Tracer. Uh, recommend, you know, obviously download the app. It's definitely going to be worth it. Um, you know, and again, you know, it'll keep all your stats, the leaderboard, and uh, you can also. Oops.
So you'll have your home screen, how many times you visited everything, and then you, if you want to find locations, you know, there's so many. Two here in the New Orleans area, some of them Mobile, Houston. So wherever you're at, you can have all your practice sessions together, all in one spot. And then again, all you gotta do is play, scan the QR code in any location. So there you have it. There's Top Trace, I'll have more about it in the blog post. I'm gonna have some more fun with this, learn more about the game, so I can pass that information on to you as well. So thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.